Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show how to use SQL Server Management Studio to run Python script. So before that, you just watch my previous video installing SQL Server 2017. 2017 is going to support R language as well as Python language as part of machine learning. So to run Python scripts in your management studio, you just need to install SQL Server 2017. I'm just connecting management studio 2017. So it is going to be the uh, new server with 2017. So as you have installed 2017, you need to install a separate management studio as a separate standalone tool. So it has a latest feature on it. So once I connected with the management studio, I can list out all the databases. All right, to run Python script, we just need to configure a few setup. So just take a new query and type the command as I type in sp underscore configure. So we need to ensure that our external scripts. So to run Python script, we need to enable the external scripts all right so just run this store procedure it is going to list out all the add-ons that is available for sql server so one of the option is external scripts enabled so by default it will be zero so if you are enabled already then it is going to be one so uh, let me let me change the value to zero and i will show once again how to change the value to one so to to back to the original state, I just need to run a command like sp configure external scripts enabled within single quotes comma zero. So I just type the name as like in this name. All right. So I need to run this script. So I have to reconfigure reconfigure and run the script so you can press execute or you can press f5 so i just completed i'm just going to check it again to see the status so external scripts enabled is zero so this is the one which you will get once you install sql server so we need to make this value as a one to run our python scripts so to run or to change the value from 0 to 1 you need to run the same command instead of 0 this time you need to type 1 so just run this all right we need to run this reconfigure to make sure it is applied all right so let us check it again to see the latest value so in this row we have a value 1 so it means we have configured our external scripts enabled in this sql server so it is ready to run python scripts so before that we need to make sure sql server launchpad service is up and running so to check that go to services sorry services so this is one yeah I don't want this window so let me close that out okay here just go to SQL Server services and check for SQL Server launchpad so it is up and running so we are ready to run python script so I'll just command this all right we are going to run the python script so to run the python script we need to use the one more store procedure so I'll just copy paste. So the store procedure name is execute external script. So SP is a store procedure. We need to use this store procedure always to run the Python script. And we need to say the language as Python because SQL Server 2017 is supporting both R and Python. So we need to say which language we are going to run. So if you take SQL Server 2016, it was supporting only R language. So from 2017 onwards, we are going to make use of SQL Server Management Studio to run Python script as well. All right, here in the script section, we need to type whatever our Python script. All right, so within single quotes, we need to type all our Python scripts 
uh, if you have a multiple lines of script you can just copy paste as it is so we can execute this all right so this is a simple script to ch check whether our sql server management studio is able to run our python scripts so if you are getting a success message and if you are getting a value this welcome to data on my view then you are good to go with run more lines of codes all right so as it is the first time it is trying to take all the services and it is trying to use that python services and it is executing the script so we just printed all right welcome to data on my view so to execute the script it has used to this location where all our functions libraries related to python so for example once you want to install uh, sql server 2016 you need to make sure that you have python services folder available so go to program files go to microsoft sql server and go to latest version and here you can see python underscore services folder underneath that you can see all the dlls libraries functions which will be using to run all our python scripts all right thank you again uh, please like my video and subscribe my video to learn more about python scripts even sql server 2017